If you experience swimming freestyle, but you hear a loud noise every time you kick, maybe with both feet or just one, in this video, I'm gonna explain why that's happening. Hey swimmers, welcome back to the Swim Vice channel. I'm Coach Mandy and today's quick tip video, I'm going to explain why you might be feeling a loud splash when you are trying to swim freestyle from your kick. Now, before I get started, if you are new to the channel and you're looking to improve your swim practice and those that have watched the channel and love it, be sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner to show your support and also to stay notified for new content weekly. All right, swimmers, now let's get into it. So the reason why you may be feeling a loud splash or even your hips sinking when you're practicing freestyle, this is what most likely is occurring. And that is bending far too much from the knees. When you focus on kicking this way, the action that you are controlling is lifting the foot up. And this is what's causing your body line to break, if not sink. And you can see here, in this freeze frame, I am lifting my foot out of the water, which then breaks the alignment. And it also disrupts the connection of your kick. So if you are lifting up and bending from the knees, you are creating unnecessary resistance in your freestyle. Now you may be swimming this way and have no idea this is occurring, but if you feel a loud splash and you feel tired, the more you kick, most likely you are kicking from the knees. Typically, this is a pattern that happens for those that are learning freestyle, but also those that are avid runners because the same mechanics you're trying to translate in the water and it's actually quite the opposite. So if you are watching this video, stay throughout the entire video so I can show you how to correct it. But again, to recap on this point, you can see that I am lifting the foot up, which is creating resistance and also kicking air at the same time. Now it is also common that this can happen on just one foot and not the other, or it can happen with both, it just depends. Also your knee can bend too much when you're just breathing. So it's very specific to the individual. The key is to notice when it is happening. So if you're still watching this video, this clip I'm showing you when it is corrected. So still the same kick pattern, but instead the kick is much quieter. There's no loud splash. The foot isn't out of the water. It's not breaking anything or disrupting the overall timing of the stroke. Now, the reason why this is happening or how to correct it is to focus on the action. What you consciously control is to kick down and it's from the hip and the top of the foot, not the knee. The knee is a passive mover. It's going to bend very slightly, but it is not something that you control at all. If you do so, you will bend too much at the knee. When you bend too much at the knee, you are using your quads. It is a quad dominant kick, which is why it's exhausting. Here, it is not a quad dominant kick. It is more from the glute and hamstrings, which keeps the leg nice and extended, and it does not disrupt the body line. If you're doing it correctly, you will feel no splash, maybe a little bit, but the kick is much quieter. It's not loud and it's not different on each side or asymmetric. It's very much the same. And when you are doing a 2B kick, it should feel fairly quiet. If you're doing a flutter kick, you'll feel a little bit of splashing, but again, it is not loud. Now, if you're watching this and you are serious about wanting to incorporate a 2B kick in your freestyle, click the pinned comments below and join the Swim Vice program where I have a detailed course on how to execute a 2B kick efficiently. So the next time you go to the pool, notice if you hear a loud splash and if you actually apply this quick tip and if you notice a difference in your technique. 
All right, Summers, that's it for today's quick tip video on why this is happening in your own freestyle technique. Now, if you're frustrated and want to learn how to kick properly, timing the entire progression, I have a full system located in the Swim Vice membership where you can access it for seven days free. Click the link in the pinned comments below and have access to multiple digital courses as well. All right, Summers, enjoy your practice and I will see you all next week.